In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and write your newsletter with AI. This game-changing process will help you get your newsletter from brain to inbox in just five minutes. So here's what you'll discover. How to find a kick-ass newsletter idea, how to create a compelling structure for your newsletter so that your subscribers are going to find value in it, and finally, let AI write the newsletter for you in just 53 seconds. But before getting started, hi, my name is Matt Jarrell, and this channel is for content creators who want to turn their ideas into an income. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button now. Step number one, deciding on your newsletter format. Before sitting down and writing your newsletter, you need to understand that a newsletter is a mix between two things. Number one, an idea, and number two, an angle. Imagine you're a chef. Your idea is the meat, and the angle is how you cook it. Grilled, sauteed, or deep fried. You can serve chicken in a hundred ways, but a grilled Kijian chicken always speaks differently than a deep fried one and your newsletter is no different. There are a ton of different angles that you can use in your newsletter, but the easiest one is the listicle. A listicle is nothing else than a compilation of tips, so your reader can pick any of them, run with it, and implement it right away. Also, it doesn't require a lot of thinking because you don't have to put things in a chronological order like in a tutorial. And a lot of popular content uses listicles, so it's really a no-brainer. So let's see exactly how to put this into practice. Step number two, brainstorming ideas. You first need a topic to start with. Right? So let's see how ChatGPT can help. We're going to use ChatGPT throughout this tutorial because it's simply the easiest way to get started. So I'm going to use GPT-4 right here because the output is just radically better than 3.5. And no worries, I'm going to leave a link down below to a free cheat sheet where I compiled all the prompts that I'm using throughout this video. Feel free to steal them and make them yours. And here you're going simply to insert the audience. So let's assume that I'm writing an email newsletter for you. YouTubers, right? The newsletter format is a listicle compilation of tips. It has to be educational, entertaining, and readable in five minutes or less. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to teach ChatGPT what a good newsletter is. So the best newsletter topics are those that directly appeal to the reader, helping them overcome one specific problem or achieve one specific desire. As an example, if my audience are diabetics with type 2, then a good newsletter title would be five breakfast ideas to keep your blood sugar levels below 180. If my audience consists of programmers who want to make money with their SaaS, a good outcome would be six ways to increase your SaaS user retention. So here's how we'll proceed. Number one, find 10 specific struggles that my audience is facing. Number two, find 10 specific desires my audience wants to achieve. And number three, come up with 10 specific newsletter topics that I can pick from. Let's get started. So as you can see, ChatGPT came up with specific struggles and also specific desires. It then also gave me specific topic ideas that I can use for my next newsletter. So I really like this one. So maximize engagement, six secrets to making highly shareable videos. So we are going to proceed with this one. Step number three creating an outline. So now that you have your newsletter topic, it's time to generate an outline. So an outline is basically the skeleton that gives your newsletter form and function. You wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So that's why you need an outline. Here is the next prompt that you are going to use. Simply pick the idea that you liked right here. So in my case, it was number five. So let's proceed with five and let's just take a closer look at the prompt. So the goal is to have three to seven subheaders. Each section should explain the idea, show them the potential, and then conclude with a simple action step the reader can take in five minutes or less in each section to make it actionable. As an example, if one subheader shows YouTubers how to increase their thumbnail click-through rate, actionable advice would be about creating two variations of a thumbnail for a video they already have uploaded and then using a tool to set up an A-B test. So we're going to wrap up this prompt with please provide me with an outline I can use to write the newsletter that includes these specific tips. The reason why I'm adding this right here, because you want this newsletter to be personal, right? So so even though we are using AI, it's simply a tool to reflect your ideas. And it's okay to not have all the ideas, but at least you want to feed it with some of your ideas. In my case, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add one tip, which is going to be utilizing trends 
to simply create a video about a trending topic that people are already talking about. And if people are talking about, then they are more likely actually to share that video. So now what we're going to do, we're simply going to hit enter and simply look at the outline. So as you can see, it explained the idea, showed the potential, and also gave me the actionable step. The second tip is engage directly with your existing subscribers. Number three, collaborate on channels of similar size. Number four, optimize your channel layout. And number five, host a giveaway or contest. While I like some of the tips, I really don't like engaging with subscribers. I don't really think that this will make a video shareable if the video is crap. Let me just ask ChatGPT to come up with another idea. I can simply ask it, change number two to something highly specific. The creator needs to incorporate in the video itself to make it shareable. Use everything you know about how to create viral content. And now let's just see what ChatGPT comes up with. So as you can see, it came up with the share trigger, which is quite interesting. And well, I'm simply going to run with that. So right now I'm going to ask it to simply output the whole outline. So now the skeleton of your newsletter is ready. Step number four, training ChatGPT on your writing style. Let's open a new session and feed ChatGPT with your writing style. So this will ensure that your newsletter will not sound like a robot. So here is exactly how we are going to do this. First, I'm going to pick a sample of something that I wrote in the past. So for this example, I'm simply going to use this article right here. So here's the prompt that we are going to use. You're my newsletter writing assistant. I'm going to start this session with a newsletter that I wrote. I want you to analyze style and match your writing style to mine. Here is how we'll proceed. Number one, I'll give you a sample writing of mine. Number two, analyze it and match all your further replies to the same style. Number three, I provide you with the newsletter outline that I want you to write. Understood? So I just paste this in. So as you can see, it just analyzed the writing style. And now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to switch back to our first conversation where we had the outline. I'm simply going to copy this and paste it here. As a first draft, it's really not bad, but let's just take things to the next level and add more specific examples. So simply keep the text as is, simply add one example to each subcategory. So as you can see right now, it's really added more oomph to the newsletter because there is a specific example to it. And yeah, what you can do is simply read through it. If you see things are missing, things are off, simply tweak it. So I really like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy this and paste it into my text editor. Step number five, edit. Now the only thing that you have to do is simply copy the output into your text editor and simply make minor modification of things that just don't sound like you or that you would like to enhance. Perhaps adding some personal examples, some personal stories right? Because at the end, your newsletter is yours. Now, the only thing that you have to do is simply load this into your autoresponder, hit send and relax. Okay, great. So now you know exactly how to create your newsletter in ChatGPT. But if you really want to take your email marketing game to the next level and generate more income with emails, then I have a free course for you. It's the first link in the description. And why not continue also binge watching some other videos around the same topic. I'm sure that YouTube has some great recommendations for you right now.